Hi, my name is Meerte and I am the CEO for one month of the Netherlands. And I would really love to use this summer to learn as much as I can about the world of work. And I would really love to share this with you. So follow my journey. Youth unemployment is rising and the International Labour Organization even indicates that young professionals are three times as likely as adults to be unemployed. And especially in times as COVID, it is very important to talk about youth empowerment. That's why today I'm talking to ESM with Imke and she is the president of ESM the Netherlands. And we're going to talk about how young people can prepare themselves better for the job market at the moment. So before we start, Imke, can you tell us something about who you are, about ESN, why you joined? Definitely. So my name is Imke mm-hmm. and I joined ESN uh, last year as a board member of ESN Rotterdam. And here I was the president and the events manager. I had a great year organizing a lot of events for international students. And now I decided to continue my adventure within ESN and I became the president of ESN the Netherlands. What does ESN do? So ESN is the Erasmus Student Network and we are active all over Europe in over 40 countries. We have over 500 sections. What we do is that we foster for the international students. We give them a soft landing wherever they are, but we also connect them to the local communities. Basically our mission is to enrich society through international students because we really see the value of their addition to local communities, but also we want to give them a great experience wherever they are. I think that everyone knows ESN from the exchange mm-hmm. programs. Everyone who goes on an exchange in Europe will see a local section, but you guys do a lot more than that. Besides actively engaging with the international students, we also try to train our volunteers. We have nice training events nationally, internationally, but we also do Erasmus in schools, for example. We have other platforms like Erasmus Intern, Erasmus Jobs, which try to give people the Erasmus experience without the higher education institutes, yeah. because that's where it mostly happens. So yeah, we try to do it in all kinds of different ways. Yeah. Very but Mirza, nice. you're doing, you're here for ADECO, yeah. and you're doing CEO for a month, you're starting this adventure in the coming month. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Indeed, CEO for a month of the Netherlands, I must say. It means that I get to shadow Melvin de Boer, who's the CEO of the ADECO group the Netherlands, mm-hmm. uh, for the entire month of August. So, and it's not as if I only get to see a little bit of his job, but I literally get to follow the same agenda. There are multiple CEOs for one month over the world right now, we are with 34. We're all competing to become global CEOs. Worldwide, 200,000 people applied, which is it's a crazy number. Yeah. And I think it's, it shows that young people are ready to take these kind of opportunities and ready to take the lead. What do you think is the major reason why young people are struggling at the moment? Mainly, and then I see from my own experience and my experience with students I met, is that there is such a big gap between higher education Mm -hmm. and the labor market. Yeah. Because, of course, a lot of students are lacking experience. They didn't know or didn't do any extracurricular activities, which makes them maybe less attractive for certain jobs. Nowadays, a lot of jobs are required to have a lot of experience or some knowledge that they don't have yet. Yeah. And I think something that's also lacking very much is the information during your education that you kind of should be working on it and not only should but that it's also fun to gain these experiences next to your studies. Yeah, I recognize this a lot. The skills that I learned there are very valuable but so different from what what you need when you're in a company. Teamwork, feedback, how to address certain conflicts for instance. Yeah. You recognize that as well? Yeah, definitely. I know you did a board year as well before. In our board years and also for our volunteers and the committees, these are the things that we like to build. These things are the skills that you want to develop so you can show that these are the things that you have learned besides your study to make yourself more interesting, but also to grow as a person. Personal development is a big yeah. Uh, part of ours as well. But I also really like what you say because I don't even think it's only about making yourself more attractive mm-hmm. for companies to hire you, yeah. but also about that you can enjoy it a lot more. Definitely. Because what I notice now, so I have some relevant working experience already, but what I do notice is that even now joining ADECO, you yeah. see that there are so many skills that you still need to learn. And I really find that nice that I at least worked a little bit on that during my studies already. I also recognize that within my own bachelor, which was the International Bachelor of Communication and Media, And in our curriculum, we had a mandatory internship, which you don't often see, especially in the Netherlands within universities, which I think was a great addition to our curriculum as we got some relevant experiences. But also we got a six months, a whole semester, which was made for either a minor or an exchange. And the exchange was 
very much pushed on. It's funny because for us it was optional. Mm -hmm. I also went on exchange. Yeah. You went to Canada. Yeah. I, I went to Peru. Yeah. And I really do think that I learned a lot of valuable lessons there. So also, I think a problem that a lot of young people struggle with is that we don't know what we like to do. Doing internships, exchange, committees, board chairs yeah. also really allows us to find out what our strengths are. Because that is really what helped me a lot during CEO for a month. Mm -hmm. Like People are going to ask you, what are you good at? What can you yeah. add? And if you do not know that yet, it's very difficult to tell companies why they should hire you. Exactly. The problem is with a world that is so changing so fast we can't cannot rely anymore on just studying now mm -hmm. working then and then retiring and yeah. then. so we need to keep learning all the time that we need a societal mindset shift to lifelong learning and as i understand that's also something that the ESM is very involved with right we see that a lot of modern challenges can be fixed with lifelong learning and making learning fun for everyone so kind of what we then do as esn is we make learning available and fun for a lot of students within universities there's a lot you can do here if you're doing something like communication but you're interested in learning some more about accounting or finance you can join the finance committee and learn yeah. there we welcome everyone you're able yeah. to learn whatever you want to link that back to youth and employment that's also what we talked about the responsibility for us to keep learning is of course primarily with yourself but there are so many nice opportunities to learn, learn online for instance, mm -hmm. where within 10 hours you're some sort of expert on Photoshop or all those kind of skills. I get a little bit sad when people say that they don't like learning. It makes me realize that we kind of learn to hate learning and learning is so much more than just going Definitely. to school. When you go on your exchange, it's not just learning from university, getting courses from another university. It's about the day-to-day -day activities yeah. where you learn from others. Most of the time you get a chance to yeah. follow courses that are not within your regular major. You will learn to get to know other people and do activities with them that are outside of your regular. So what I was wondering, if you look back on your year in mm -hmm. Rotterdam, and now you're starting as ESN president of the Netherlands, but yeah. in your year in Rotterdam, what was your biggest learning point? I think I learned a lot. Some of the main things were since I was managing a board, committees, just a lot of different kind of people, I learned to adapt a bit more. That was something that I kind of yeah. struggled with because every team, every individual, they need a different kind of approach. Yeah, I think the way to do that is to kind of not completely change as a person, but kind of change your management approach and change the way you work with it because at some times I, I did feel really hard but then I got feedback and I learned from it and I can still learn. I had one year of experience but it was great. Talk about CEO for one month and also your background with all your yeah. activities. What did you learn now? Okay I'm gonna be honest then as well so I'll tell you what I struggled with mm -hmm. as well because obviously you learn a lot. A lot of things are nice, mm -hmm. but you also learn a lot of things about yourself that you yeah. don't want to learn. And my weaknesses is that when you're nowadays in a competition, you can really see your competition mm -hmm. because they are everywhere on social media. They're mm -hmm. on LinkedIn, Instagram. Mm -hmm. What I struggle with sometimes is when I look too much at the people around me that I forget mm -hmm. what my strengths are. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize this? Yeah, definitely. It's easy to compare yourself and see what others did, what others are doing, but then you forget your own strengths. So I think it also shows that companies like ADECO, who are really giving the floor now to a whole new generation mm -hmm. of young people, mm -hmm. And what I love is that, for instance, we shadow our CEOs, but it's not a one-way street. We're not supposed to only listen. We are really supposed to add a lot of value, to be critical, ask questions, give a lot of feedback, talk to the people in the field, our flex workers. And I love that I get to challenge that. Mm -hmm. that I get to ask the question, how can we put our fresh images of our fresh views at value? The ADEC group is taking the lead in that, yeah. also with programs like uh, the International Future Leadership Program. So I'm very excited to, uh, to be walking this path at the moment. Yeah. So that's very nice. So when you're already working, mm -hmm. and I like that competitions and CEO for month challenges to mm -hmm. get the best out of ourselves. So I was wondering, for, for young professionals or for mm -hmm. students even still here at university, what can they do at ESM to develop themselves? As an international student or as a local student, you can attend events. There's events that are organized in related to culture, sports, social inclusion even, and all the local sections are active, putting our causes out there. But you can also be active as a volunteer within a board, national communities, local communities, international communities. You can also learn with projects that we are active with. We have Erasmus in schools, we have Erasmus skills, Erasmus intern, where you can get internships abroad and Erasmus jobs. So those are a lot of things that are giving you opportunities to learn in an intercultural dialogue with other people all around the world. 
One last question for you. What would be your one big main takeaway to young professionals? Mm -hmm. What would you advise them? Yeah, so I really want everyone to take away, and especially young professionals who mm -hmm. are not sure what they want yet. It might sound a bit depressing, but to not look for that perfect job. Take those opportunities that are coming to you or that you find and just keep continuing developing yourself. Even if something only works for one year, then you can go find something new. It is important to keep going and to kind of continue developing yourself and learning more. In the end, you do find something. And the big thing is you will not find the perfect job. I think it's important to make your job perfect for you and build yourself around it. Keep learning, keep moving and do amazing things like volunteering with ESN or <laughs> amazing projects like CEO for one month. I love both of our initiatives and I think it's great to continue developing yourself, learning more from others all over the world. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> I think that that is a perfect way indeed to conclude this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was very useful for you. And if you have any question for me or for Imke, you can just leave them in the comments and we will just get back to you as soon as we can. And we will also share our favorite lifelong learning or our favorite yeah. learning initiatives in the description. Yeah. So you can get inspired as well by that. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>